Hello and welcome to Calm Lands. My name is Josh. This is the Gaming Joy channel. We're out here checking our fields. It's the next day, next month. Um, <laughs> here's the poplar. Poplar takes a while to grow. Um, so I don't know how soon we're going to be coming back to it, but uh, it looks pretty cool. One cool thing I, I like, and this is part of the, how the game works, is the the rows, the, like the, the rows that are angled, like depending on what angle you look, there's always like a row you can see. See that? They actually line up with the corn rows, which is fun. So our cornfield, which we also planted the same day, is also growing. It's looking good. Uh, everything is great. This is going to be <laughs> um, an intense amount of corn, and the harvest for that's going to be pretty fun once we get there. We're just going to have a chill day, a uh, calm day <laughs> on calm lands. Uh, nothing really to do uh, except harvest the sorghum up here and of course we're doing the same thing we've been doing before we're trying to get auto drive to do some most all of the harvesting and we do have a driver cycling between the fermenter over there and the bga um and if we put back on our hud uh, we have a little bit of money probably enough to buy a piece of land so maybe once we're done with this harvest um We'll start to, we'll actually expand a little bit more. And the next place we're going to expand uh, is not another field. <laughs> well, not yet. Uh, we're going to come down here and get this plot right here. So this one right here, plot 30. Actually, let's go ahead and buy it um, because that's the next thing on our list. Um, mainly we're buying it because we want this production area here. We're going to put a few things down. We're going to put down a cell point. We're going to put down um, potentially a bakery. And then over here, kind of to the left of the one in this area, we're going to put a cows, some cows. Um, I have a cow barn picked out. I might actually do two of them kind of, you know, side by side or something, um, just for the sake of having cows and giving us a little bit more to struggle to do or something. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, that's done. Let's get this... this harvest going now I don't actually have this full harvest set up um, this field has come on this is ready to harvest is this not swathable I thought sorghum was swathable and now our harvest has completely changed <laughs> <laughs> today huh well I guess we're not swathing this field um, because sorghum is not swathable <laughs> I totally didn't know that all right well let's get a regular grain header we don't actually have a grain header yet so we're gonna have to buy one uh, let's put the swather back since he's not gonna be used at all and let's get ourselves a grain header turn you off all right because I don't feel like driving all the way up to the store and then driving all the way back down we're gonna pay for the actual delivery fee to get the store to deliver us a grain header and let's jump into the store and figure out what we want so we're gonna go with this header this is the one actually I think that comes in the same pack as the harvester um, obviously since I edited that pack <laughs> This one is also colorable, so we can color it black, just like our harvester. It's only six meters, but that's no big deal. I'm not worried about that. But it's there. So let's... We can put the pickup header away later. We're just going to leave it in this field. Come pick it up later. This, um, whatever this field is, is not growing very much. And it's funny, the, uh, this, this pickup header is actually about the same width as the... Um, is the grain header we just bought. So this is going to be a time-consuming harvest. <laughs> Which I'm totally happy to do. That's totally fine. And there we go. Let's set course play up to um, get going here. And we'll try to do the same kind of harvest and thing with course play. Uh, and get things going.
probably going to set this into a little bit of not a time lapse. We've been doing lots of those. I might do a little bit of a montage and get um, see if I can track some of the progress as this happens. See if we can get this whole thing done and uh, just kind of do something a little different. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to toss some music on. Throw it into a little bit of a montage and we'll go from there. Catch you guys back in a few minutes. Hope you enjoy. Just like that, the harvest is done. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Seeing all the little things that have to happen, many of them with course play, all happening kind of in, in kind of concert, and it all happening kind of automatically. I think it's pretty fun. But we did have a little bit of a problem there uh, with the carter and the trailers. The, the Our little road train there that's kind of sitting there waiting for you know, <laughs> delivery of the product um, was drifting a bit. And when it drifted, it kind of got in the way of everything else, uh, which is kind of a bummer. It is what it is. 95% of it all happened automatically. And it was kind of fun to kind of just jump around recording little clips here and there. That was pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just finishing up, uh, making sure that it gets the corners. Of course, play has a hard time with corners, um, it just does. So I'm going to go around with the harvester, cut the corners, and then uh, we'll do what we did last time where we set off a worker, course play, um, 
clearing all of this straw and delivering all the straw up to our straw building right up there to make some straw pellets which should be lots of fun um while we're while the worker is getting all the straw off the field for us <laughs> i'm not gonna do it uh we're gonna go down and jump down to that production area and start making a few changes i think that um we're gonna upgrade it we're gonna replace some stuff add some cell points maybe cut down some trees i don't know we're, i'm not really sure what's gonna go on next but I'm going to jump over there and we'll continue with today's little, uh, today's tasks. Catch you over there in a minute. We're down here at our new property. And of course, just cause you know, it's me. <laughs> um, the first thing we do at any new property is mow the grass. Uh, I'm not going to like terraform or put down buildings without mowing first. I mean, this is like, you know, a field of gold or something <laughs> silage at least anyways uh we're gonna mow this field real quick and then we're gonna get to the other part of our process now one thing we're gonna do is if you notice the time actually i'm gonna go a little bit further towards the line uh it's a 2 30 right now and we've had our bga running for a little while now and i just realized like a minute ago that we're running the BGA and it's not been selling the electric charge, it's been building it up. So we have 878,000 something of electric charge. Now I have no idea how much money that's gonna make, but I wanna make sure to, I wanna go ahead and just mow this field myself and jump back in once the, uh, <laughs> when we're right about to click over to three o'clock and just to see, <laughs> just to see how much uh, money we're going to make from all of that electric charge. I have no idea. I really don't. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be enough to help us, you know, place down what I want to place here because we're running low on money. I have just barely enough to pay for the workers. Uh, so I'm going to get to mowing and just, you know, just regular everyday mowing. We don't need to see that again. Um, and then I'm going to jump back in when the clock ticks over to three. Yerby. Well, we are we got our time at times three right now. <laughs> we might uh, slow it down just a little bit, but as you can see, it's 2:58. It's almost time 2:59. It's almost time to roll over and see how much 800,000, 900,000 <laughs> liters liters of electricity. How do you measure electricity in liters? That's just silly. <laughs> 900,000 units of electricity, electrical charge. There we go. And the answer is just under $600,000. Not bad. Uh, which puts the price of electricity at about 600 or so, 650. Um, so pretty good money, which basically means we just paid for that BJ, which we bought last time. Um, and our delivery service who is currently still delivering silage over there uh is doing a good job and keeping that thing filled and keeping it filled is a good thing i mean look at that money Woo -hoo! so that's gonna give us more than what we need to flesh out this area and i'm thinking we're gonna put in some animals we're gonna put in some cows uh we already have sheep up at the other barn and some chickens we're gonna put in some cows, get some milk going, and um, whatever else um, we decide to do. So I'm gonna finish mowing this. I'll pick up the grass. I'll get the, obviously the bales over into one of the fermenters and get that processing. And I'm gonna come back and check with you in a little bit um, when we decide what we're gonna put down here. I haven't really fully decided yet, but we'll figure something out. And we're down at our new field. We got the hudig over here just for a minute uh, to maybe if we need to move some trees or whatever. We have it here just in case. Um, the plan is we're gonna use this field not as a field. I don't, I don't usually do that. I usually try to like, you know, shoehorn things, but I'm just gonna go right in the middle of the field here. And 
uh, make our cow barns. So first of all, what we're gonna what do we know to place? Let's look at it. We're gonna go into construction, get our animals, and we're gonna place this cow barn right here. Now I've actually used this cow barn once before. It's actually pretty nice. The one downside is is because of the way the uh, those baskets work. Uh, it does mean that it needs a perfectly flat surface. And this hill is anything but perfectly flat. So we're going to take a page from Rusty's book and we're going to just kind of create ourselves a little stepped area right here in the middle of this big field and then work around it. So let's say around right there, I think maybe right here. And then we're going to go from there. So let's just kind of put these cow barns in the middle and see what happens. So first thing I'm going to do is come to landscaping, I'll grab this, grab this, and I'm going to start uh, flattening from about right here. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this, but we're going to try. So we're not going to flatten everything. We're going to flatten the shape that we need for these cow bars. And then we'll smooth around it. Let's see if that's enough. So that looks to like be about enough. We're going to need a ramp to come in and a ramp to go out. So we're going to have to extend it over to our left a little bit. So let's go this way. Now we're going to smooth all of this out later on and give ourselves more than enough space. And you'll see why in just a minute. All right, so we're gonna come in here. This cow barn looks good. We need a ramp to come in. Should be about right there. And I think that's. Oh, whatever. That's about where we want to place it. All right, so we have our cow barn. What we're gonna do actually. We have so much space here. We're going to do another one. Kind of. We'll line up the buildings. We're going to do another one like this. So the two buildings are lined up over, over here. So we have to flatten some more. Let's flatten some more. Going off of this same. Width. we go and we're gonna place our second one we're kind of running out of money quickly but it's okay so we're gonna go like this I want the buildings to be lined up and I want them to be about I'm not super close that far apart perfect and so now we've got our two cow barns let's look at what it's like we walk in we're gonna have to ramp down we have our cow barn here, our cow barn here. We want this hillside to kind of fade away. This hillside's going to fade away and we'll still mow around them, obviously to feed them, but we're going to have our two cow barns all set up and ready for action. So the next thing to do, and I'll speed this up just a little bit is soften. So we're going to take this thing and we're going to try to make this seem like it was intentionally here. And we're going to smooth everything out. It's going to take a little while, but that's okay. Because the end goal is going to be kind of two cow barns in the middle of a field. It kind of looked like the goal is that it kind of looks like it's meant to be there. So let's do that.
And there we go. <laughs> a little bit of smoothing later. Um, I tried to do I did my best to retain the grass that's here. So um, there's certain like actions you can't do with the smoother um, to make sure that that doesn't happen. But uh, from the uh, outside, I think it's pretty good. Um, it kind of blends in with the hill. And now we've got these two awesome cow barns uh, here. Now, the one downside with these cow barns, I've actually used them before is they require water. So we have to actually truck some water over here. Uh, the straw trigger is right here. It's outside, which is a little bit weird, but no big deal. Um, and then same thing over here. And then the other one that's really strange is that it does have a manure pit, which sometimes works. Uh, it's kind of weird. It doesn't matter really. Um, but the, the slurry trigger is right here, but then inside this door, is the milk trigger and you have to go back all the way in here just to get to the milk trigger, which is pretty crazy but you know it is what it is um but that's our new cow barn area the next thing to do uh we still have a little bit of money left so we don't have, can't do too much is up here so we have um, we have we never bought this production but right now it doesn't seem like the best idea to have a sawmill and a production and a, and a carpentry right next to it uh, i think we should just talk the cart the sawmill into making furniture and we put something else here in the corner so we're going to go ahead and uh remove the carpentry because we don't want it anymore um and then we've got a couple other ideas now i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to put here um we do have the donuts factory we were thinking about making the donuts factory and we could put just the donuts factory right here and then we'd have to kind of truck our flour and stuff like that over here the other one we do need to put down at some point is where is it this one we do have to put down this dairy <laughs> somewhere um and since it's bigger than the other one it kind of fits better here the downside is, is all the triggers are on the back and it really only fits like and it looks good like this when we don't have access to the back of the building. Oops, that didn't work out very well. Um, so it it's kind of doesn't fit in this spot. So we're gonna find another spot for the dairy. But I think that, where was it? The donuts factory might work here. I don't see why not. Um, we're gonna have to get to the front and the side and the back. But if we kind of tuck it in over here, I think it can work out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put the donuts factory in here. We're gonna start making some donuts. I'm actually excited about that. That's gonna be a good one. And as you can see, it needs sugar, um, sugar, flour, and eggs, which all of which we have. So we're gonna boom, put that there. Now we have our donuts factory. We do need to find another place for the other factory, but that's cool. We've got these two little things in the lot. That's great. And then the other thing I wanted a place, which is totally not needed. <laughs> But I, I, why not, right? Is a selling point. No, not a selling point. Um, we could put down this as a selling point for the dairy milk, but we're going to deal with that later. Um, where is it? This thing. This is from the straw harvest plant. And this is basically a way to use the pellets to create electricity. Now, I think it looks cool. It's a very cool looking building. Um... I'm going to do, I'm, I was thinking of just kind of hiding it up here in the trees and <laughs> right. And then we'll have to remove these trees, flatten this area out and kind of like have this little area up in here for the pellet heating plant, which seems kind of cool. So we'll do that next. Um, <laughs> but for now, we got to start um, feeding these cows. Now we're going to need to feed the fine TMR, which means we need to have a TMR mixer of some kind, which this should probably be our next bet. Now we have a plenty of land down here. Let's see what we got for TMR. I actually don't even, I haven't even looked. Um, we have this one and we have no idea how much that one takes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to, how about this? I'm going to jump in and see if I can find some TMR mixing places and figure out which one we want here and We'll go from there. Be right back. And I was looking over Mod Hub and I want, you know, I wanted to go with something new, but in all honesty, I make the best productions there are. 
<laughs> or something. So, uh, what I want to do is we scroll over here. It's, it's, it's an expensive one. It's 180 gay, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna buy it once I have enough money. But I'm gonna use my own Forge Depot, and this is a mod that I've created. It's available on my GitHub. Uh, if you, if anyone wants to message me, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but I think I'm gonna put it like right here in the trees, kind of right here on the side in this little corner. Uh, it's still land that I own. So what we need to do is clear out these trees right here so that we can put this in. And then hopefully by the time I'm done cutting the trees or maybe tomorrow or the next month in game, there'll be enough money to place this down. But for now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try to mess around with that. <laughs> the HUD again and cut down some trees. So let's kind of use that view we were just in from the perspective of my trusty cameraman and uh, do a little bit of forestry for fun. Now I'll speed it up because it's not going to be quick. It's going to be slow. Um, we'll go from there. here and I'm sorry about the video quality the video looks to be like it's uh, acting a little strange I'll, I'll have to look into that but anyways let's leave it over the camera in I'm gonna go in here and do some forestry and we'll uh, catch back up with you in a minute
And there we go. Um, <laughs> this thing's weird and fun to use. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's just uh, entertaining, I guess. Um, but that's it for this beast. Let's go ahead and actually let's t tick over to 7 o'clock. And hopefully, if we go over to our productions, the silage right here should be selling in any minute, which means that we can go ahead and place the building we want. And this actually might be in the way. Uh, hopefully not. Should be fine. So let's tick over to the time. And while we're doing that, we're going to hire the uh, tree stump company um, to uh, get rid of our stumps. So let's remove stumps. Yep. Whoops, that was wrong. There we go. So it cost us $2,000 to remove our stumps. And if our time goes a little bit faster here, we might be able to... Come on. Sell that silage. And sold this out. So we have plenty of money. No, just barely enough money. <laughs> Not even money. Uh, we have enough money to purchase that. Where is it? It's all the way over here somewhere. Here we go. The forage depot is going to go right here. We're, we're not going to let it flatten the land. We're going to go like this. I'm going to tell it no, no flattening. We'll make it look nice. Uh, maybe later, because we're not going to have very much money. But let's go ahead and place that down. This is going to be our forage depot. Let's set it back on the road just a little bit. Right there. Beautiful. And so we're going to use this forage depot to produce our forage. <laughs> um, it'll be another processor. It actually also does silage as well. Um, but mainly it's going to produce our TMR. Um, and that's going to be it. And that we're kind of at the end of our day. So we're kind of set up for cows, but we're not ready for cows. Um, off stream, I'm going to figure out um, my video settings, why it's kind of a little choppy right now. And then we're going to go to the next day or the next month. And I'll see you next month for a little bit more. And we'll get our cows next month and potentially do harvesting or whatever is next. Um, but that's going to be it for today. <laughs> I'm actually happy we got all the stuff we got done done. Um, more to come and more to do. So I want to say thank you for everyone for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Tell me down below what you think of my um, construction <laughs> and the two new new two new um, cow barns we put on the land. This is a weird one for me. I'm just like kind of like using it, not using the entirety of the land. Um, so it's kind of strange. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.